Hi guys, welcome to Wednesday Quickie. We're gonna do a review of this by Red Lobster with some shrimp. I've got some shrimp that I gotta clean up in the vein. Um, seafood seasoning. It comes in a pack of two on Amazon. That's where I got it. So we're gonna do some rice. Wow. Okay, so I, usually it's two cups of water, one cup of rice to, you know, two to one ratio. But because this is an air fryer, it's not gonna come up to a boil per se. By the way, this is the DeLonghi Rapid Crisp Air Fryer. It's got a bottom burner, so it's nice. So I'm gonna put three cups of water instead of two. Because we need water to cook the rice. It's gonna take a little bit longer than stovetop, but that's what I'm here for. I've got two tablespoons of chicken base. This is the stuff from Canada that I use, but the closest thing that you can get is by Goya Chicken Flavor Packets. I'll put a picture of what that looks like. It's pretty close to that. So two tablespoons of that. Two tablespoons of unsalted butter and because I'm my butter is unsalted I'm gonna do some garlic salt this is a, a sprinkle of that also I'm gonna put some of my dehydrated basil I did a video of that if you're interested in checking that out so I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon of that that's gonna be oh it smells so good and this is from 2020 and it smells like I just picked it yesterday all right, here we go. We're gonna use the mangle function. Can you see? Whoa, hang on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. What must have touched some button? Whew, calm down. So uh, let's go manual. Okay, it's already there. Uh, if you don't want the manual, then you, you can change it to other settings. Okay, you need to stop here. Okay, french fry, pizza, chicken, uh, casserole, and manual. Now with manual, you have to turn the bottom on yourself. Um, 30 minutes, I think it's going to take more because there's, I think it's going to take more than 30 minutes, but we'll leave it at 30. I'll check it at 30 and, uh, see what, see what goes. Okay. I'll see you in a bit. That's all I'm going to do. I rinse the shrimp. I left the tails on. I think it's going to be cuter with it. Cuter. <laughs> Let me smell this. Oh, it smells good. All right. So, uh, coat them pretty good. Put them over and toss them up a little bit so they have seasoning on both sides and, uh, Put that in the fridge till I'm ready. All right, you guys, three minutes. I wanted uh, to melt that butter, so that's what happened there. This is one cup of, uh, I think it's medium grain, jasmine rice. I'm pretty sure it's medium. All right, so that's a lot. We're not lifting that lid anymore. A little bit of butter left, that's okay. I see you. Uh, 27 minutes, I'll check it, and if I tack on any more time, I will let you know. I tacked on another 10 minutes, so it's 40 minutes total right now. And it's looking pretty good. Look at that. So now we're gonna put the shrimp on top and cook that. That's gonna take, uh, I don't know, probably seven, eight minutes, I'm guessing, till it turns pink. All right. Bottom is still on, still at uh, manual settings. See the butter's all in the center there? That's okay, it's all gonna go in the rise. Not the problem. Good boy, I tell you, that seasoning smells delicious. All right, so we will continue it. Let me tag on uh, 10 more minutes. Okay, and if I go listen to that, you'll see that. Uh, what I wanted to say, I got one hand that's dirty here. In the manual, I was going by the ratatouille uh, setting. So that takes about 40, 45 minutes, I figured. That's probably what the rice is going to take, so that's how I went by this. It's pretty cool. It's got all the settings you need for everything, except for rice. That's what I'm here for. I'll be right back. Call it quits. Um, I'm going to say, instead of tacking on another 12 minutes, just tack on about 7, okay? Because look quitter. at that. Quitter. Not a quitter. Just by looking at those tails, those shrimp are cooked. It didn't take long at all. There's no more liquid and all that stuff, so... I'm gonna plate it and taste it. I'll be back. Ooh, look at that. Went and got some basil outside because I got basil in my rice. I figured it'd be look cute. It's still growing like crazy out there. Jeez. All right, let me uh, taste the texture of the rice. There's Tommy Boy just got home. Mmm, that's so good. I'm kind of thinking it needs more water to cook a little bit longer. I like it like that. It's got a tiny, tiny little bite to it. 
So, what did I do? Three cups of water, four cups of water, one cup of rice. I know, it takes a long time, but it's it's okay. I wasn't in a hurry. I had so many chores to do. All right, let me taste this shrimp. Mm, that's delicious. Mmm, that is really good. Mm-hmm. I can see putting that on lobster, scallops. I'd put this on scallops. That is quite delicious. It's got a little kick to it, you guys. Not very bad, but pretty good. So, I mean, this video was about this. I just figured I'd try rice in the air fryer. Um, I'd tweak it a little bit. I would add more water. Same temperatures and all that stuff. Probably about 45 minutes, like that ratatouille recipe or instruction. But it's good. It's really good. It's, it's, it's really... Not too bad for an air fryer to do rice. So, you guys, thanks for shopping. Bye-bye.